Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Bit Eric. Today we're going to check out a pretty interesting game called Sea Salt. And what you do with this game is you control the monsters and demons and stuff as you attack innocent people in the streets. I've played just a little tiny bit of it, but we're going to pursue a little bit like further on. You can see there's a lot of dark imagery and stuff in this game. We're going to pick Agra de Pesca. Um, Honestly, I've had a lot of fun checking this game out. I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't think it would be my cup of tea, but you know what? It is. And I like the Retro Neo um, look to it. You can see it has that look that a lot of indie games have nowadays that are coming out. But, you know, it, it has a cool uh, premise to it. Again, you control like monsters and you basically just kill everybody. <laughs> that's in a nutshell that's what it is so i figured it'd be a decent halloween octoberish themed game so you can see these are my creatures i have like weird slug things and flies so we're we're in the area i have this like portal that I can use to attack people so i'm following these people and basically attacking them <laughs> so you can see it's kind of like a weird strategy type of game you know but it's kind of it's kind of easy um, to like figure out. It's not easy to play, but it's easy to figure out. So we're gonna we're gonna kill this dude. So basically, you aim and then you hit the trigger button where you want your monsters to attack. And then every so often, you'll get the option to uh, to select new types of monsters to come out and and, and kill for you. Um, so these poor villagers never knew what they were going to get when they woke up this morning and uh, started walking down the street. So let's see if there's anything I could find. I don't think there's anything I can unlock. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed to the next area of the stage. So we're in Carl's Haven. I think I can attack certain objects on the map. And I'm not seeing any, oh, here we go. Here we go. And you know, there's like little blocked off areas, but you can make your way to them, like, like right here. We're going to pick a card. I want the cultist, so let's choose the cultist. We're going to have some cult members uh, attacking enemies now. <laughs> Isn't that kind of creepy? Like, this, this is beyond a pretty creepy game. Let's go around this way. It looks like there's an enemy or some enemies right here. Um... We'll see how strong they are. Oh, the cultists have long-ranged attack. So that's actually pretty legit, if you ask me. All right, now we're going to come over here. Come on. Get out of my way. And we're going to attack these dudes. So the cultist comes in handy. I could definitely use uh, ranged attacks. Let's see. Break down these walls. Uh, Jericho, right? this guy over here you made a bad move young sir all right and let's go ahead we got should we do the worm should we do the swarm cult i like the cultist we'll do the swarm we'll switch it up a little bit so there we go we got the swarm and the cultist the cultist actually look really cool i like i like the way the sprites look in this game could you imagine just suddenly just Minding your own business, being on the street, and then all of a sudden a swarm of like killer cults and like other things just start coming at you, and you just suddenly just get attacked. It's, that's that's a bad day. Look, see this person says they don't want to die. I think I lost some of my cultists. But that's cool. Cause I think I'm doing uh. I think I'm doing not too bad. Alrighty. Oh, there we go. So now I'm getting enemies that actually kind of put up a fight. Which is quite interesting. These guys are throwing Molotov cocktails. Come here, dude. You're gonna... You're gonna get... There we are. Alright, there we are. Uh, I want some more cultists. Those guys came in pretty good hand. Poor fisherman. There we are. 
Can I collect this gold? There's little gold chunks here. I'm not picking them up for whatever reason. Such violence, guys. Such violence. Nope, nope, nope. You ain't coming after me, homeboy. There we are. Get that dude. Alright, so far, so good. Progressing, progressing. Let's see if there's a big old boss fight or something. Last stage had a pretty cool looking boss fight. Here we go. What's this guy doing? Whoa, he has a pretty powerful gun. We're gonna go ahead and uh, add some more enemies though. Let's get some, some worms. Oh, what do we get? A new card. The crab. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do that. Oh, I can't. I, I wasted that, I guess. What's this? This looks like a power up. Power up my views. Alright, let's go ahead. Make our way to the last part of the level. Hopefully this is the last. I don't know if this is the last, but... It seems like it's a good, good length of level already, right? You gotta love the, the pain that I'm inflicting on these people. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Come here, homie. You're 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 dead. Is he running away? Nope. Ah, that guy was fast, wasn't he? Jeez. Alright. Making our way. Homeboy was fat. All right, these guys are across the way. Right. Maybe I can attack them from over here. Without my range attack. Oh man, I'm down to just a couple of cult uh, cultists and a couple of a little swarm. I think I might lose. Yep, I got defeated. Holy smokes! <laughs> I was almost done. I wonder if there's a check. Oh, thank God, there's some checkpoints. Alright, here we go. Come on, come on. So, if you are attacking, it's not. The, the swarm doesn't move as quickly. You gotta kind of strategize. You gotta aim your little ridicule. Ridicule? Alright, we're gonna do some crabs. Alright, oh my gosh. So if you're aiming the thing while you're trying to attack, you move slower, basically is what I'm trying to say. So you gotta, oh man, the crabs aren't that strong, but they're cool to look at. So you gotta like, like right now I'm gonna let go of the attack button and, and move my characters. See, they move much faster if you do it that way. The crabs are definitely fast. That should be it for that screen. Let's go ahead and continue. Come on. There we go. All right. Kill the shooter. What movie, guys? Comment down below. All right. Boom. All right. Boom. Come on. I love the way these guys sound. It's like, Some of these guys are defenseless. Some of them are. See, like, this guy has a big old gun. He's basically polarizing. Okay, there we go. Simple as a pimple, right? Is this the boss? Yes, it is. Warp Master Glenn. What a name, right? I gotta watch out for his anchor. Basically, just let him throw his anchor out. Attack him. Not like that. <laughs> let him throw his anchor out and then attack him. Wish I had some more enemies. Or some. Not enemies, you know what I mean. Wish I had some more creatures to 
to attack him. There we go. There we are. Get him. Get him, got him, get him, got him, got him. Get, him. get out of the way. The crabs move quickly, thankfully. But those other things that I have in my punch don't do so. So I'm going to get away. Ooh, there we are. So not too not too not too bad on the boss fights actually. Pretty standard. Again, this game was pretty easy to uh, to pick up and play. I'm doing pretty decent on, on this boss fight, I will tell you that much. And I don't really know of anything that's like this where you control a bunch of like evil dudes and things like that. So that's what really turned me on to uh, checking this game out. So, so here we go. Moving, keep moving, keep moving to the grooving. Not too bad. This guy's pretty easy. This should be it right here. A river dirty. Look at that. How cool is that death effect? Jeez. We, we annihilated him. Pretty legit, if you ask me. Now I get a new card. What do we unlock? We got the Drotter. The Droger. The Droger. So yeah, that was actually a really cool little, like, example of, like, what this game is about guys so this was sea salt i hope you guys enjoy it i'm not going to play too much more of it i don't want to spoil it for you but there is different modes like arena and stuff like that i think it's pretty neat it's definitely fitting the halloween vibe i think you guys should give it a little look-see thanks a lot for watching guys don't forget to click that like on the way out i'll see you on the next one have a great day peace out consider supporting 8-bit eric on patreon for just a dollar a month link below in the description you want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video. Or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.